downtown St. Louis. I'm a mom, I'm a grandmother, and a member of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. My late husband was a hunter, and I'm not interested in having legally purchased guns removed from homes and or workplaces. I am, however, passionate about advocating for common sense reforms to our gun laws so that our homes, our businesses, our schools, colleges, universities, our theaters, our malls, <laughs> and our streets might be made safer than they are today. Senate Bill 613 would allow the age for possession of a firearm to be changed from 21 years of age to 19. The rationalization for this seems to be that if a 19-year-old can be given a weapon and sent to war, why shouldn't he or she also be able to legally possess and carry a firearm into the local ship's market? Let me present some facts comparing military requirements for a 19-year-old operating a firearm and civilian requirements for the same. And my husband was in the military. Military requirement for a background check. 100% must pass a background check. Civilian requirement, none. About 60% have background checks. Military requirements for suitability. Recruit must pass a mental evaluation, must pass a physical test, must pass a three-hour armed services vocational aptitude battery test, and 75% of all military applicants do not pass this test and are denied admittance to the military. Civilian equivalent for suitability, none. Military training requirement, nine to 11 weeks of basic training. Every soldier must qualify on the firing range with his or her weapon to graduate from basic. Every soldier must qualify on the range every six months thereafter. Civilian training requirement, one eight-hour firearms safety course. Permits are then valid for five years. No firearms safety class required for renewal of the license. Military requirement for storage of weapons. Kept under lock and key when not in use. Civilian requirement for storage, none. Military requirement for supervision. Constant supervision by platoon sergeant, supervised by unit commander, company commander, brigade commander, and so on up the chain of command. Civilian requirement for supervision? None. <coughs> Military requirement for use of the weapon, defending our country. Civilian use of weapon? 2% use in self-defense, hunting. Armed robbery, armed criminal action, domestic abuse and violence gang violence, accidental and negligent shootings, homicide, suicide, and rape. Military requirement for location of weapons use, war zones. Civilian location of weapons use, neighborhoods throughout America. Senate Bill 613 will do nothing to make, our safe, to make safer our homes, our businesses, our schools, colleges, universities, our theaters, our shopping malls, and our streets. Nothing. For your testimony, do we have the uh, yes, mm -hmm. Senator Shaw? Thank you, thank you. Um, so basically, your your um, feeling is that being that the military requires the stuff, these training requirements, that we should allow eighteen-year-olds or I guess it's nineteen-year-olds to have the weapons because. They don't have to go through that kind of requirement. Okay, well, don't those military requirements also apply to someone 22, 23, 24? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you advocating then that the same requirements would apply to someone 22, 23, 24 on the civilian side? I'm, I'm not sure of the question. I think that it doesn't make sense to lower the age. We well, I know, but, but your, your argument is that that we shouldn't lower the age because the military requires everyone right. from the moment that you enter the military until you retire to meet these requirements. So why does that give credibility to your requirement or to your wish that we not lower the, the age? I think it's a credible argument. 
not to lower it, not to, to well, make a younger what, what is the really do you think? Gonna, do you I'll feel the, I'm just curious, the, do you yeah. really feel that nineteen year olds are truly less capable of of handling a weapon than a twenty one year old? Not necessarily. You that's your feeling and based upon your experience. Not necessarily. But I think that it doesn't make sense to lower the age, and I'm going to stand by that. Well, that's, that's okay. Do saying. you do you think that there are some 19 year olds that are fully capable of handling weapons? Probably. Do you feel that there are some 21 year olds that are not capable? Could be, but okay. Right. Thank you. Thank Other questions, Senator Machine. To, to the, uh, the military requirements let's say hypothetically speaking, if we were to implement those requirements that exist for the military usage of carrying and concealing weapons, would you be in support of a 19-year-old uh, carrying the weapon then? If we adopted the if military? If we somehow implement all of those regulations with the civilian population? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Would you be willing to accept, accept the 19-year-old? That's a good question. I think it's so um, impossible <laughs> that we would ever be able to to implement those those regulations for the civilian population. So it's sort of a move, but to me. so I mean, no, I can offer amendments. You know, who knows? I mean, I can take all, all of those, all of what you just said, and I can make amendments, and I can offer a, each amendment on, on behalf of uh, myself in terms of the 19-year-old. So, no, it's not you, so, but you will be in support of a 19-year-old carry if those rules and regs was in place and for, all of for, for the civilians. It's a good question, I'm, and I'm not prepared, I guess, at the moment to answer. Okay, thank I'm, you. I'm not a legislator. Thank you. I'm a mom. Thank you. Other questions for the witness? Thank you. Thank you. Please be sure to leave your uh, witness form. And um, then...